Collins worked a lot, of course, on his cousin. From this experience, I expect to gain more knowledge of myself, um, get into his world a little bit because he's sharing so much of himself. I commend him. All I can say is I am extremely proud of Shmuel, the fact that he was able to be that open, that honest, and to be able to spread that knowledge to the young people of the young people. Tonight I was in just taking back, held back tears, because it's a lot. So. Okay. Well, com completely naked would be a start. Mm -hmm. um, it's not really just for men to overcome the traumas that we have went through, but it's also for women to understand what young boys go through, how society suppress, uh, makes us suppress our emotions, our feelings, and our anger. It also teaches about not beating your kid, your son, and telling him to be quiet at the same time that you're trying to love on him. Because what you do is you, grow, you force him to grow up to become numb and distant from love and affection. You know what I'm saying? So at this point, now you have been beating them and slapping them, shut the F up and boys ain't supposed to cry. This is for women, you a sissy. Now you cause him to be numb. And now when you grow up to the age, you become absolute or even worse. Or he want to be mute, he don't want to talk, he don't want to share nobody. Nothing. So the first thing I would say completely naked would definitely be a key to help and restore relationships between mother and son so we don't have to go through the same things that we went through. But also, the lessons that I teach my son and Mr. Carter right there, I exemplify the behavior of how a man is supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? They sitting in the theater, they just watching it, they been a part of the creation process. I know it says it's not suitable for those in the age of 18, I just use that for marketing purposes or whatever. But however, it's never too early to expose your kids to something like this, especially if you allow them to listen to that poison music in your car. You know what I'm saying? So if you listen, let them listen to that poison music in that car, you can let them listen to this, let them read the book, break it down, read to it, read them to it, whatever. But however, that's the start, being transparent and open and let them know how you feel, why you angry, why you frustrated, why you are single, why his dad left, why is his dad in jail? Don't say, oh, his dad is in college or he went on vacation. Be real, be true, be transparent with your kid. And at that point, you can help avoid some of those obstacles that they may face as they grow up. So that would be my advice. Basically, you were explaining to us your journey on this not-so-magical school bus. Yes, sir. All right. And it explains how hip-hop and all these views of what a real man is come about. And it teaches us to put on a persona, a mask, if you will, that basically protects us from showing our real selves to other people. Now that you're completely naked, you know, fuck it, mask off, you're free now. How do you feel, brother? Great question. Well, after watching this, I still feel heavy because, you know, I have to relive those experiences every time I hear it, every time um, I read it, every time I explain certain to somebody, explain a part of it to somebody who have read the supporters. But besides that, I feel good. I feel free. I'm able to support my friends, my family. I get to live the life I choose to live. I get to go where I want to go. It's not just about the money, but it's the relationships that I create with those people and the experiences that I create with those people is more important than money in itself. So again, after freeing myself from that burden and that trauma and that past, I feel good. And a lot of times we stomach our, our emotions and our feelings and what we went through because we're afraid of somebody else probably humiliating us. And if they laughing at your pain, laughing at what you went through, making jokes about it, guess what? You are experiencing exactly what you have experienced. You know what I'm saying? So at this point, you say, you know what? I am ugly. Thank you. Because everybody is right in their perspective. But however, if you define yourself and you own yourself, nothing that anybody else say to you or do to you will ever matter. You know what I'm saying? So I feel good getting that burden off, being completely naked, being transparent because everybody goes to shit. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just, I just mustered up the courage and the bravery and the guts and the balls. 
to just be open. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to come. You know, the storm is going to come, but however, you got to push through it. And many, many times people give up when life seems to get so hard. And at that point, when it gets so hard and you give up, you just miss out on so many blessings ahead. So instead of me giving up and throwing in the towel, I decided, you know what, let me ride this way, let me keep pushing. And at that point, I freed myself from the baggage and emotional trauma and all that. And I realized that me as a man, I experienced everything that all black men go through, even black women. So um, I was just brave enough to share my story, you know, because a lot of people would ask, hey, how did you become this author or this person? How did you live freely? How did you get to travel, whatever? I could easily say, you know, I went to college, I went to college, I went to a financial environment, I started investing my money, and I spent it for the most people do. But that's not the real thing. The real thing is this is what I went through in order to get here. And great right. people around us, great family, great friends, great support staff, you know, just a great mindset to continue to move forward in life. You know, I just want to say thank you so much for us waking up every day with another opportunity. And we'll keep on progressing this unity. As we travel around Cali, me and Jamil will we'll show y'all some new things that y'all may have never seen. Um, besides those people uh, who are close to you in your life, are there any other authors or uh, motivational, inspirational people that uh, you are influenced by and who are they? Great question. I am not influenced by anyone other than myself. Mm. Not taking away from none of those people and the things they have done, but I inspire myself because I did the work. I looked back into my environment and my community. I looked at the man in the mirror and said, you know what, I'm going to make this change. There's nothing that somebody said or someone did for me to say, you know what, you know, let me, let me carry you. So because I looked at myself in the mirror and faced my truth and my reality, I decided to be who I needed to be for many people who don't have someone like me. You know what I'm saying? So not to take away from people who are doing amazing things, but I only inspire myself. You know what I'm saying? I would still listen to uh, uh, Eric Thomas or listen to a Bashir Jones or whatever. But however, they don't inspire me to go on and be greater. It's me looking back to see where I come from not wanting to go back there. And that's my my, my passion. And that's the, uh, the fuel that fuels my fire to keep being great. Cool. What's next? What's next? Yeah. Well, for starters, you know, June 25th is the official book launch for Completely Naked. She has a hummingbird for author Nene Marie. But, um... Oh, freedom. Whoa. That silver spot. You said, Why did I do that silver spot? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, true. Great question. So, I knew I wanted to do an audio book, but however, I never ever wanted to do an audio book release party at a club or something like that. I think that's kind of whack. And then I told myself that I wanted to do it at a movie theater in December, but however, I did it in February. Now, I didn't want to go where uh, Cedar and Lee or something that's low scale. I wanted the best theater that we have around. And I don't care what they said their price was or whatever, I made it happen. You know what I'm saying? I like the, the environment, the staff is welcoming, um, very inviting, the service is excellent for me. Um, and then they give me an opportunity to come back to do it again. So I came because I just love the environment. You know, it separates the ratchet from the classic. Um, the professional versus the unprofessional, and that's why I chose it. You know? And the women's bathroom got nice mirror. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, people choose to give it, they can, but I don't need it. I don't request it. I don't desire it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I haven't confronted anybody who have 
um, cause me to greatly pain or whatever because I, I understand the source of where it comes from. You know, and we will learn more about that in chapter three. Generational curses, PTSD, and the pain my family caused me. So at that, at that point, I really can't even um, blame nobody for any type of trauma or experience they went through. You said to your dad. Energy to be able to create and live the life that we love to do. You know? And thank you for us having great people around us, great family, great friends, and great support. I'm mad. You know, just a great mindset. You did it. You did it. Yeah, we did it. <laughs> we did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. We sold it out events back to back. Now, I said I'm cramping now. <laughs> we did it. We did it. Hey guys, and Jamel, I just wanted to say thank you for putting this all together completely naked. The screening and behind the scenes the whole the whole thing was beautiful it was so beautiful and i and when i say beautiful i mean raw beautifulness because there's so many men who won't even go to the extremes that you have to share where they came from and how much they've changed today to become the man that they need to be for their kids and i am so proud of you for that and thank you for even helping shift the narrative for single mothers because I do have a son who does not have a father who is living. So he doesn't have that extra help. I don't have a boyfriend, it's just me. So listening to even just chapter one of your book was uplifting, motivating, and encouraging on so many levels. And I thank you for being raw and completely naked in front of everybody, sharing your story because I know how hard it has to be. And like I said, trust me, I know how hard it has to be. I have a story that I won't even fully tell yet, and I don't want to name names just like you said, because you don't have to name names of a person in order to decide to get the closure that you need. You don't need anyone to come apologize to you to get the closure that you need. So many times we have to move forward in life and accept the apology that we're never going to get. Don't let it hinder us. Don't let it stop us like any of that. So again, your book... I can't wait for it to come out. I definitely want to be on that pre-order sale list. So you're going to be hearing from me soon. I'll probably send you an email before I leave this parking lot just to remind you to make sure that I get the book. But to anybody who has not seen, I encourage you to go and purchase your ticket for the next screening because it was amazing and <laughs> I met some great people. Your story is beautiful, and I hope it helps so many other people. It's definitely needed. Thank you again, Jamil. Don't just take your clothes off. Take the problems off. Take the armor off. Take all the drama off. Take all your responsibilities you've been holding down. Know it's a lot on your mind, but I need your focus now. I need that. Yeah. I give you that. Yeah. In that conversation, can you speak my body language? Bring that body to me uh. Baby, come closer, closer Bring it to me Oh yeah, baby I'll give you a to see uh. Baby, come closer, closer Bring it to me People in my circle, but they wasn't in my corner. I had people in my business, but they didn't support it. They took advantage of me like they supposed to do at their moments. Everything you didn't do, but could've did if you wanted. Working overtime, it's time I could be taking.